beyond the matrix. Are we living in a computer simulation? Simulation theory. Simulation theory, a concept that suggests our reality might be a meticulously crafted digital simulation, has captured the imagination of thinkers and visionaries around the world. This intriguing idea raises profound questions about the nature of existence, the universe, and our place within it. In this article, we will explore simulation theory and its implications, featuring insights from some of the brightest minds in the fields of science, technology, and philosophy. Renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson once remarked, the likelihood of us being in base reality is one in billions. This striking statement highlights the idea that if highly advanced civilizations are capable of creating simulations, the odds of being in one of those simulations are significant. Tyson's assertion underlines the compelling notion that our reality may indeed be a simulated construct. Tyson has shared his thoughts on simulation theory in several interviews and public discussions. His perspective often reflects a blend of scientific skepticism and a deep curiosity about the concept. Neil deGrasse Tyson I'm agnostic on the question of whether we're in a simulation or not. I have arguments for both sides. If you ever get evidence that we're in a simulation, then I'm thinking it's going to be really easy to get evidence that we're in a simulation. The simulations are going to be better and better, and you're going to see things you've never seen before. He added, if we're in a simulation, then whoever created it has the ability to create universes, and they've already created a universe, so it could go on forever, another layer up. Maybe what we are, we're not the base reality, we're one level deep in some simulation. Tyson contemplates the potential existence of multiple layers of simulations, where our reality might be just one level deep in a complex hierarchy of simulated universes. Neil deGrasse Tyson But if you were in a simulation, why would you make everyone's life suck? The fact that our life does suck suggests that we're not in a simulation, but who knows, that could be the next layer up, that's a little better. Tyson raises a thought-provoking question about the quality of life within a simulated reality, hinting at the paradox of whether advanced beings would create simulations that resemble their own reality or something entirely different. Neil deGrasse Tyson The interesting thing about this is, you only come to the question of whether or not we're in a simulation if we've advanced technologically, intellectually, to a point where we can create our own simulations. That's why I think about it, because we're getting better and better at creating simulations. Tyson underscores the idea that pondering simulation theory is a result of our own technological advancements, indicating that the more we progress, the more likely it is for us to consider the possibility of simulating reality. Neil deGrasse Tyson maintains an agnostic viewpoint on simulation theory, acknowledging that it's a topic worth exploring but not committing to any definitive stance. His insights reflect a scientific curiosity about the potential implications and the interplay between technological advancement and philosophical inquiry. Elon Musk, the innovative entrepreneur and visionary behind SpaceX and Tesla, has been a vocal proponent of the simulation hypothesis. He stated, there's a one in billions chance that this is base reality. Musk's perspective is deeply rooted in the exponential growth of technology and the belief that future civilizations may have the capability to create simulations indistinguishable from reality. Joe Rogan, the influential podcaster and comedian, has explored this topic extensively on his show, often featuring experts like Musk. Rogan's podcast has served as a platform for in-depth discussions on simulation theory, helping to bring the concept into the mainstream consciousness. Rogan in his 725th show with Nick Bostrom said, I think that it's entirely possible that our reality is some kind of a program. We live in a time where technology is advancing rapidly. Who's to say that in the future, we won't be able to create simulations that are indistinguishable from reality? Joe Rogan Video games have evolved incredibly in just a few decades. Now consider a civilization a million years ahead of us. What kind of simulations could they create? Rogan added, If we were in a simulation, it would explain so many mysteries, like deja vu, unexplained phenomena, and even near-death experiences. Rogan goes on to suggest that if a civilization were to create simulations indistinguishable from reality, then it's highly probable that we might already be living in one. He added, it's a fascinating concept because it flips the script on what we think of as reality. If we're in a simulation, then what is real and what isn't?
A theoretical physicist, Michio Kaku, a leading expert in the field of theoretical physics, has posited that the laws of physics may be akin to a computer program. Kaku stated, The universe is a symphony of strings, and the mind of God that Einstein wrote about for 30 years is cosmic music resonating through hyperspace. Kaku's analogy suggests that the universe's fundamental rules could be coded instructions governing our simulated existence. Kaku, known for his work in string theory, has contemplated the simulation hypothesis, stating, I think at some point we will begin to ask the question, do we live inside a cosmic computer game? If so, is there a programmer and what are the laws that are being used by the software running the program? This question echoes the core of simulation theory. Whether the universe's fundamental laws are coded instructions or the product of some form of advanced programming, Kaku's musings suggest that even within the scientific community, there is a recognition of the plausibility of such an idea. Furthermore, Kaku has explored the notion that our universe might be governed by underlying rules, akin to a cosmic computer program. He has elaborated on this, saying, Just as you have the laws of chemistry and the laws of physics, you could have the laws of intelligence that allow these things to coalesce into a form of life. And so, when you look at a human being, and you look at the way a human brain is formed, you can ask yourself, is there a plan? Kaku's contemplation of a plan implies the existence of an overarching design, possibly put in place by a higher intelligence or a technologically advanced civilization capable of crafting our reality. In addition to these prominent figures, other thinkers have explored the digital nature of our reality. Philosopher Nick Bostrom's groundbreaking paper, Are You Living in a Computer Simulation?, lays out a compelling argument for the possibility of a simulated universe. Bostrom suggests that if a technologically advanced civilization were to simulate reality, it would be challenging for its inhabitants to distinguish the simulated world from the real world, reinforcing the theory that we might be living in a digital construct. Further support for the idea comes from Max Tegmark, a cosmologist and professor of physics. He contends, we could live in a computer program, but it may not matter. Tegmark's perspective reminds us that the existence of a simulation may not fundamentally alter our day-to-day -day lives or ethical considerations. Simulation theory not only questions the nature of reality, but also raises ethical and existential concerns. If our existence is a simulation, what implications does this have for concepts of morality and purpose? Philosopher David Chalmers ponders, if you're in a simulation, there might be a programmer who designed it, or it might just be the product of evolution within the simulation. This ambiguity challenges our understanding of free will and the existence of a higher power. Simulation theory, once relegated to the realm of science fiction, has now become a topic of serious consideration among prominent thinkers in the fields of science, technology, and philosophy. The notion that our reality may be a simulated construct offers a fresh perspective on the mysteries of existence and the universe. As Neil deGrasse Tyson, Elon Musk, Joe Rogan, Mikio Kaku, and others have contemplated, the possibility of living in a digital simulation has profound implications. It challenges our understanding of the nature of reality, our place within the universe, and even the ethical and existential questions that have fascinated philosophers for centuries. Whether you find simulation theory fascinating or far-fetched, it serves as a reminder of the boundless human curiosity that drives us to explore the mysteries of our existence. In the words of Albert Einstein, the most beautiful thing we can experience is the mysterious. It is the source of all true art and science. In contemplating the nature of our reality, we continue to push the boundaries of knowledge and understanding, embracing the mysteries that make life and the universe so endlessly intriguing. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more psychedelic history stories and biographies.